this video I'm going to be cooking burbot. Now, I didn't even know what burbot was till like, I don't know, a couple years ago. And over the years it's been getting a little bit more popular. Burbot's like the only cod-like freshwater fish. Now, the word burbot, it's a Latin word and it means barba. And barba it means beard. So, I don't know why, I think it's because they have their little whiskers and that's supposed to like represent a beard or something. These fish, they spawn between like December and March, just on their ice when temperatures are like one to four degrees. And it's weird, because when they spawn, the males gather around females and they, be, they make a little like swarm. Or I think they call it a spawning ball. And what happens is the females will release its fertilizer or eggs and the, and the males will release the sperm and then what happens is the eggs then get you know thrown away from the current and go into little cracks and then when the temperatures get a little bit warmer the the eggs will hatch when these fish mature they start to eat like all kinds of freshwater fish pike musky uh anything like bass they'll, they'll, they'll just eat the fry of anything now these fish could get about 30 pounds to almost 30 pounds and maybe you know 50 inches I think the world record is somewhere under that. This is my first time cooking burbot. What I'm gonna be doing is what most people do with cod, like saltwater cod. And I'm gonna be poaching it in coconut milk and I'll put some rice, potatoes in with it and serve it all together with parsley, lemon, whatever. I'm just experimenting right now, it's my first time. So we're gonna see how that goes. Now these burbot fillets, they were frozen for about a couple weeks. Uh, what I did is I put, I don't know if you can see, there's some ice in there, is I just poured some water in it and then put the fillets in and what that does is it doesn't allow air to freeze or burn it or anything and it will actually last longer in your fridge. Now once these thaw, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a paper plate with some towels, let them air dry for a little bit, maybe pat them down and then they're ready to be cooked. So I just chopped up some potatoes into like little cubes and you know they don't have to be too big you can make them whatever size you want and that's what's going to go with the coconut milk. Now I'm just boiling some rice, you can use any rice you want. Not even going to measure it because I don't care. I'm just going to stir this rice a little bit so it doesn't get stuck to the pot. Now I'm going to pour in some coconut milk. Oh, that's weird. Never done that before. Never cooked with it, so we'll see how that goes. Stir it up. Break it down a little bit. I guess that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'm going to add some butter. Add about half a stick of butter. Let that melt. Now, no idea how this is going to taste, but now I'm going to put my <laughs> potatoes in. Because they're going to take a little bit longer to cook. And turn it up higher, close the lid, give the potatoes a little stir halfway. Now after preparing everything else, I'm just going to grab these burger fillets and cut them into smaller pieces. Give it a nice season, nothing complicated, some salt some pepper and some lemon juice and I like to roll it to get all the juices out just a little bit on it for now now when the potatoes are like halfway done what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the fish in there I'm going to turn it on low and just let it simmer for about maybe seven minutes and hopefully it comes out good now, the oldest knowledge we have on these type of fish is in 1590, a book was written where they used to use burbot or cod or whatever you want to call it uh, as pig feed. Alright, so now that it's almost done, what I'm going to do is I didn't cook my rice fully, so I'm going to put all my rice in here. Stir 
that in a bit. Now I'm going to add my parsley. You add any herb you want. Parsley's mint. Chili powder. Look at that. It's already looking good. Squeeze more lemon. You know what? Oh, throw that in there. Who cares? Stir that in. Let that simmer for about a couple more minutes. And it should be ready to eat. What I found really cool is that in the 1920s, in Minnesota, two men were using bourbon as feed for their foxes on like their fox farm. And one of the guys started realizing that their fur was much better than their competitors. So he was thinking that it was the liver and the oils and vitamins from the liver. So what happens is he sent it in to a scientist, they studied it, they sent it back to him. And it turns out that the liver on a bourbon has about four to 10 times the vitamin D and 10 times in vitamin A more than like the your average multivitamin or whatever. And here's the final product. Look at that. That looks incredible. Jesus. I'm gonna taste some of that. A bunch. Alright, let's see. First time bourbon. You know, I made enough to feed like three, four people just with a few fillets. So, and they were small fish. Oh man, you guys gotta go fish for burger time. It's totally worth it. Wow, this is like the best fish dishes I've ever made. Honestly, highly recommend this stuff, man. Incredible. So good. First time bourbon. Let's see. Not bad for something they used to feed pigs with, eh? Dude. <laughs> Are you sure this is not tilapia? <laughs> I know, eh? What? Like there's nothing bad. There's nothing bad. There's no fishy taste. There's there's nothing no, bad going on. There's no muddy taste that you think you'd get from a bottom feeder. Nothing. It's just... It's similar to like, like ocean cod, you know? Yes. Yes, right? exactly. Wow. I cooked it in a way for that. Not bad for first time, eh? That's pretty good. Would you go catch them again? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what's cool is the oil from Burbit was used during the, the depression in the 1930s to give to the poor that were lacking on their vitamins and you know they, there wasn't enough food for them. It's crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know if you guys liked it or didn't like it, uh, write it in the comments. And if you did like it, like it, and then subscribe and even you know refer other videos. I'm gonna be cooking a lot of other fish, a lot of other game meat, a uh, bunch of weird dishes. So stay tuned and see you next time.